I'm going to a very hot climate very soon and taking you guys with me. this out pretty stoked I'm going to a very hot climate very soon and taking you guys with me and since I'm in Alaska I don't have an air conditioner in here I just have a fan so I took it upon myself to remove my wood stove just for this trip and put in a portable air conditioner uh, remove the wheels off it so it doesn't roll around I'm still gonna secure it the portable air conditioner blows hot air out of the back has an exhaust so I just hooked it up to my wood stove chimney pipe. So it's gonna blast it straight out. Cut a hole through my wall right there so I could get a power cord through. And on the outside, just put a little waterproof closure so I can get my cord through. The Honda 1000 sits inside of this box. So all the heat for the air conditioner will come out of the top, right where the fire normally vents out. And when I get down in the hot desert, all I gotta do is fire up the generator, put the power on. So this air conditioner is a keystone it's a 6,000 BTU, which is enough for this small space. That Honda 1000 generator actually powers the 6,000 BTU just fine. You can hear when the compressor starts up in the portable air conditioner, it bogs the generator down just for a split second, and then it goes back to normal. So it's able to handle that surge just fine. It's on a nice cold setting, blow nice cold air into the space. It's designed for 50 square feet, so it's perfect for this. So, stoked on that. Oh yeah, sweet package arrived today. Mosey is getting a shower. Let's get it installed. Here she is, my new shower. <laughs> Let's, uh, looks like it's got a track and some brackets. So uh, let's mount it. The Overland Pro's shower enclosure does come with brackets and stuff, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go straight through this aluminum frame and drill it right into my wood up there. So let's do it. I'm gonna use uh, one and three quarter screws to put this in the wood. The first thing we're gonna do is pre-drill the aluminum. So I'm just going straight through the aluminum and popping out this backside. All right, got all six holes drilled. Next step, we're going to take the screws and put it through the aluminum frame and mount it straight to the camper. Going on. That's like a good shower. No way. Now it'll pop out like. No way. Yeah, man. I have to hit the road and all the gyms are going to be closed, so it's like, I got to do something, you know? I figured I'd put it uh, back towards my porch so I can still reach it because it's obviously going to be pretty high. Got myself a shower. I suppose I shouldn't cheat and uh, just try to not use the ladder because I'm not going to have the ladder on the road.
There we go. I think I worked up a sweat just putting it up, but uh, pretty cool. I'm sure I'll get a better system down for it. All right, we got a little side project going on. So the passenger side couch of the truck house, it could be more comfortable, I feel. So we're gonna make it more comfortable. And more specifically, we're going to make the bed more comfortable. You guys have seen the slat bed pull out that I built. Now I'm gonna make the cushion part more comfortable. For the cushion of the passenger side couch, all I did was buy a twin mattress uh, made out of four inch memory foam. And I basically just cut it into sections. So here's the bottom section and here's the back section. So what I did was buy another twin size piece of memory foam. It's like kind of a softer gel foam and it's two inches thick. So what I did was sit the soft memory foam on top of the thick heavy stuff and it made this pretty soft cushion here. The bottom seat cushion is done. So it has two layers in it. It's got the four inch memory foam and it's got the two inch kind of gel memory foam. So now it's super cozy. It's all wrapped up. So I've got to hand sew this one into place. And we've got to wrap this, cut the fabric and then hand sew that. So let's do that. Pretty simple. You just need some fairly strong sewing thread and just a needle of whatever size you choose. Let's get it done. All right, just finished sewing up the first piece. Not too shabby, not pretty, not super pro, but you know what? For a cushion and for my sewing skills, I'm good with it. Looks pretty cozy to me. Oh yeah, that feels great. Oh, all right, let's do this one. It was a fitted bed sheet. I just cut the elastic. So I'm gonna straighten it out, throw the foam on, wrap it up like a present and sew it into place. Now, if that wasn't the worst sew job you ever seen in your life, let me know. We're done though. We got a cushion. We got a cushion. Just like that. And just like that. Let's put them in the ride. So now instead of having to make a bed every time, it's just a cushion, so the bed slides out like so. Cushion just goes right down into place. Let me get this dead scroll out of the corner. I know what you're thinking. That uh, That's a hideous sheet. It's like a $12 sheet. It's not permanent. I'm gonna do a much better job, but this is gonna get me through the road trip for right now, so. Two very easy to use cushions instead of having to put a sheet over the foam every time. And now everything converts out into a super comfortable, hopefully bed, all with one pull, like so. The slat comes out, the cushions come out, and well, bam Ain't that pretty? Let's test it out. That is so soft. Uh fantastic so there you go project complete you simply put this cushion on here like so slide it back How about that so you guys have probably noticed I've been doing a lot of little projects to this camper the big reason is cuz I'm about to take you on a really big road trip. Stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the near future here. All right, peace y'all. Mm -hmm.